do the NHL fans on CCTV Sports? Well, look, um, I just would say that uh, I, hope they, uh, I hope they take some time to watch the game, appreciate it. It's a, it's a game we're very proud of. Um, modern hockey was something that uh, Canadians not only um, invented, but really developed as a sport as a reflection of kind of our values and our country. And we've never had a proprietary view of it. We've always encouraged the spread of the sport in all countries, and we want to see uh, people, other people in other parts of the world appreciate it and become good at it. And so we're very uh, encouraged by the interest here and uh, look forward to, uh, uh, to some great uh, battles uh, with the Chinese national team on the ice in the future. Right now back home in Canada there's kids playing all over the country in alleys and road hockey and, and uh, parks and parking lots. So I think it's a, it's a game that is a fabulous game and when kids fall in love with it they'll find places to play all over the place while, while the infrastructure for hockey grows up here in China. Canada is, uh, uh, we don't want to exaggerate, but it is one of the colder countries in the world and the winter and being part of the winter and being active in the winter is a real it's a real definition, a real characteristic of our country. I think it's just another good uh, example of the cultural connections that we're building with this country. As I obviously, I'm, I'm here primarily for reasons of trade, uh, trade and investment, of which, in a sense, this is part. But also, what we also try and do is build uh, cultural exchanges that will enhance the sense of shared experience between the Canadian people and the Chinese people, who I know have. Uh, notwithstanding occasional political differences, great affection for each other. Some of Toronto Maple Leafs travelled all the way to China to host a week-long series of hockey development camps in Beijing, in Beijing and Shanghai for children, teaching them how to how to skate, how to shoot, and how to play like the future stars of the NHL. Um, how do you envision the Canadian teams, like Maple Leafs, doing more developmental camps in China to help grow the game? Well, obviously, uh, that's something I know the Leafs and the NHL are are working at. They're there is nothing, first of all, for any sport, the way to get people playing it and, and ultimately watching it as, as spectators and, and cu customers is ultimately to get them playing when they're young. And Toronto Maple Leafs has a history of 97 years and they've won the Stanley Cup for 13 times in history. And I heard you were a big fan of it, of, of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I, uh, I grew up in Toronto as a boy. And, uh, my, uh, my father was born 1927, the year the modern Maple Leafs franchise was christened. We had uh, great interest then. So we've grown up with it through the generations. Now I live in the western part of the country now, so we have kind of shared loyalties in our home. We, we cheer for the Maple Leafs in the east and we cheer for the Calgary Flames in the west. And I keep telling people one of these days one of them's going to make the playoffs. So we're looking <laughs> forward to that. This year.